God, he blends right into the couch. Yeah. Cool. Tell Grandma how we're going fishing and hunting. <laughs> Sausage and popcorn for Buck Hunter's breakfast. Oh, son. Oh. You know the camera just heard that? I'll be back in five minutes when I'm done pooping. Oh, I think I'm pooping. And he went walking kind of right behind my stand, but he went further in. He said, well, I heard him faster around here. Look to my left. It ain't 50 feet behind my stand. Laying there. I turned around and said, oh, there it is. I thought it was a doe yet. And that's why I walked a little closer. Here's a big rack on the side. Eight-pointer, I mean, Bill guess 15, I guess 14. It's red uniform. Apple straight in front of me before. He was closer to my apples than I was. And I put apples off to the left. So he was hunting bait. He was hunting bait. And we've been there all week long until that day, and then there has to be a deer come out to him, and on top of it has to be a buck, and on top of it has to be a nice I'll get it. I'll get it. Oh, man. So I, 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 as a, a sporty guy, I asked him, I said, you want me to hold the leg while you got him or something? He said, no, I'll get out of here. What, what are you going to do? You know, it's public property. What are you going to say? It's just that, boy, that takes a lot of balls to stand right out of the pocket to stand right out of the pocket. Yeah, about the top of somebody's uh, big pile. That's just, oh, let me use that full face mask that you got. It's okay. <laughs> it was cold out there. That's cold, you know. So I said, you take that, and I'll just take my scarf. I walk in the front of Set up, I climb up the tree, I get all set up, and I look down, there's my scarf. So the wind's blowing, and I'm sitting in my stand like this, trying to keep the wind off me. I text him, it's cold. He goes, well, you should buy a full face mask. Let's do what? <laughs> <laughs> I got one. I gave it to my dad. And no good. No good. So that. And he says, drop me off at the first trail. And I'll kind of zigzag through there and then walk, walk the ridge, you know, to the west, and then come to you. Order the floor, and well, it should be coming in 30 minutes. So I go over the radio, I get Corey. He's like, I'm tired, and I'm only halfway through to the first ridge. He's like, I'm going to sit here the rest of the night. I'll wait a minute. I, I did, I did, I was sitting there long before I radioed you. And told you that I, I found this this drive. This drive, but you're like, I'm tired, I'm gonna sit here the rest of the night. I said, okay. I was scoping out the drive. So <laughs> then I'm like, well, he ain't coming through. So I sit there and I wait. And I just start to doze off. And all of a sudden, doze off. <laughs> Corey, yeah. <laughs> Why don't you get out of your stand and come over here? I want to show you this drive. <laughs> so I give him my face mask, I freeze my yeah, butt, he tells me he's going to make a drive, he goes halfway through the drive, <laughs> then he wakes me up out of my nap in that comfortable stand, and then tells me to get down in prime hunting time. <laughs> I'm looking at a drive that we can make some here tomorrow. <laughs> it's a great drive, we're, we're going to make it tomorrow. So, you know how that turned out. This is a good drive. It's a great drive. You know that ridge that goes out to me? When you, you park on the right, you got that ridge on the right, the new ridge that you fall out, and mm -hmm. you're off it. But the other first road where Don't you drive to the end of the park, mm -hmm. down in the, uh, that's what I went through, I zigzagged through that. And it's beautiful down there, rubs, there's everything down there. And as you get about halfway, 
How many have you had? Two hundred. Remember, I talked about the cliff. You're right. Thirty years ago, we used to have one. Grandmas are always right. I found it. That's why I stopped. I lost my cup. And it's all filled up now. What one? There's like a ridge to go up. There's two ways for a deer to go out. It's to the right, to the low man. Or to the left, right between we'll where you park the truck, you go down and up. I don't know. Through so. there. Corey could cover that. One guy could cover that. One up on the cliff. One just before they shoot off to the right here. One right after that. This and another right? one up on the ridge a little bit. What? So we yeah. need like five standers and three drivers for that. So we can do that. Right? Like this, I don't. As a matter of fact, we can't move it. We can break to this wall here in front of Corey. But I had to show him before it got yeah. dark. That's why I called him on the stand. Because the next day, then he knows how to come in from this side. I walked to the west to find out if it comes out on that trail. And I, I comes out, I want what I call a pepper tree. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Thinking about that, when I walked to the stand yesterday, I picked up that deer. I said, yeah. remember? I said, I seen a flash, so just beware when you're walking me. That was probably that buck. And I sat in your stand, waited to shoot that buck for you, and you came up short. He ran off that night. Okay, that's, no, go ahead. I'll let you know where I went. Are we done recording? Yeah. I'm getting you. Oh. Hi, Bill. Hi. Royce, why such long ones? How much more you got? Oh, I got another as much. Keep going. We're going to cut it by hand. We're going to need a cutting board, Goya. Oh, okay, that's right. Just that way we can oh. cut them just as we need them. We should get in the world book of Guinness. Mm -hmm. Put on carts, go right down the street. Well, it sure is easy to do it this way, if it works. Are you going to 